Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you basically how to sysprep Linux. Now, it's not quite like sysprepping, but it's as close as you'll get to sysprepping on Linux. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So what I'm going to do is I am going to start my virtual machine and I'll show you what to do here. Alright, so what you want to do is press any key um, as it's starting up and you'll be br brought to this prompt. So select what language you speak and press enter. And then what you're going to want to do is press F4 and select OEM install for manufacturers and press enter. And then go down to install Ubuntu and press enter. Okay, so as you can see here, it says you're installing in system manufacturer mode. Please enter a unique name for this batch of systems. This name will be saved on the install system and can be used to help with bug reports. Now, um, I will recommend you to um, name the batch the current month and date. So it is currently Saturday, July 27th, 2019. So my batch is going to be July 2019. And I'm going to press continue. Um, and just leave everything at the default. Oh, except for this. On here, you want to press minimal installation. And then install now. Continue. I'm going to have to blur this out because I don't want you to know my location. Okay. So you select your name. I'm just going to call it Test Buntu or VidBuntu. I'm not clever with naming things. And as you can see, it says your name, OEM configuration, temporary user. And the username is OEM. So as you can see, it's actually making an OEM account for us. So it wants us to enter in a password. So I'm going to do that now. OK. And now it should install. OK. So let me explain what we have just done. We've installed a minimal version of Ubuntu. If I go in here, you can see that the only programs that are installed are, calcul are a calculator, a document viewer, a file manager, a web browser, some settings, a software updater, um, a performance monitor, a text editor, and a software center. Not a lot. There are also some utilities that nobody really cares about. Okay. So now this is a clean and empty slate for you to install whatever you want. So I think I'm going to install Discord. Join my Discord, by the way. Link in the description and on your screen right now. Gosh, I love shilling. Anyways, after installing this, now you can also install some other applications. Like, um, what else can I install on here? I really don't use Linux that often. Probably should like it a lot. Okay, so let's see. Hmm, this looks funny. G birthday. <laughs> that is something funny. Had a funny name, funny description. Let's say we wanted that. So now you've installed Discord, and my Discord server is now on screen again. Link in the description or on your screen. And I have also installed this. So now. I think I've done enough. So now what I'm going to do is 
I am going to go ahead and install some updates, which you will most likely want to do if you're actually shipping this out. Okay, so it's done installing updates, so I'm going to press Restart now. Okay, and now we're logged back in. And now, I am going to double-click Prepare for Shipping to the End User, because I've done all the changes I've wanted. I've installed updates, I installed Discord, my server link is on screen right now, link in the description. And I've also installed gbirthday. So, what you do is you double click this and you enter in your password. And now it says OEM config will run the next time the system boots. So, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot the machine and uh, show it to you. So, normally, you would just press the power off button. But, since I want to show you it, I'll press restart. And here we are. It's loading. And we're now in setup. Okay. English. Continue. I speak English. Yes, United States. Yes, I'm there. That it. I'm not there. That's a horrible positioning of the map. I wish I could uncensor the map so you could actually see how horribly wrong it was. Anyway, computer name test test test. Now what it'll do is it will install your settings. Okay, and we're done. It's applying the final changes. And Here we are. Okay, and if I log in, and as you can see, it's now at the default desktop of Ubuntu. And if I go into Show Applications, our two programs are here. So uh, that about wraps up this video. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time. Bye bye.